Oh, it's obviously um, Dan and John for you. Uh, Dan, um, Warren mentioned you as one of the guys who stepped up in the last 24 hours in particular. Can you give us a, a player's perspective of how it's been? Um, yeah, it, I mean, I've, like I said, it's probably not the ideal situation, but what, what we've sort of done is we've sort of rolled our sleeves up a little bit and just and just got on with it. It's no different really for us as players. Um, we've still got to go out on the field on Monday night and, and try and deliver a performance and results. So what we've had in place for the last, whatever, five or six days we've been here um, pretty much stays the same for, for Monday night. And, um, uh, and it's just about for us as I, I don't think we'd have done anything particularly different to what we'd have done on a on a, a, a very normal week probably back in the Vale or, or under normal circumstances so um, we've had a little bit more of a couple of more walkthroughs a couple more bits of clarity with the coaches and just things as you'd expect really so I don't think we've you know we've gone up above and beyond I think we've tried to keep things as normal as possible and um, uh, like I said with with the day off yesterday it allowed us a couple of day a couple of hours to just get ourselves in uh, in order a bit Warren also mentioned it might like galvanise you as a group as well, bring you closer together. Is that how you feel as players? Yeah, uh, well, yes and no, I suppose. I think I don't think we need a huge amount more galvanising than the prize that's on, on stake on uh, at stake on November the second. Anyway, I think that was the main aim of, of all of us coming here. Um, so I think that that still remains the same. Um, so I suppose it's just about making sure we're you know we've probably just got to focus ourselves a couple more. You know we know there's probably going to be a bit of a a uh, bit more of a circus around in terms of with with media and and things like that for the next couple of days. But I'm sure by the time we get up to Toyota and and, and games kick off on on Friday and the weekend, then there'll be lots more to write and, and and talk about. And and hopefully we can sort of just do our do our speaking on on Monday night and and, and leave this sort of stuff behind. Then. Are you absolutely desperate to play a game now? Yeah, I think so. I think I think as well for because because we're one of the last sort of teams to to kick off the their, their campaign. So I think it's just. I think once Friday, I think we're all excited for Friday watching the opening game just because then, you know, you sort of feel like you're, you're actually starting and then obviously we've had a, this has been, been something, but it's something which we literally are drawing a line in the sand. We can't, control, you know, we're not going to be able to do anything about this now and the only thing we can control is what, what, we, what we build up for, for Monday night. So I think that's, the, that's been the main sort of message from, from the management and, and players alike is just make sure you, you know, you don't lose sight of what's, what's important and at the minute what's important is Monday night. I think I think they were pretty, you know, obviously disappointed, especially for you know people like sure. myself and uh, myself and John, who've sort of you know all we've ever had is is Rob really as a as a coach in in this setup, and he's given us a huge amount of, um, you know, he's given us every single cap we've had and and the amount he's given to us, so it's huge disappointment really and, and shock I suppose, but. Um, you know, we're also we're also sort of adults as well, and we realise that in things like this, sort of, you know, if, if things like this happen, we've got to try and just get on with it. And um, I think that's what's been great about this squad over the last um, year or two is that we've, whatever sort of come our way, whether it's, you know we've had a couple of distractions in the last Six Nations and proved you know we went on to win our final two games and win the Grand Slam. So it's you know we're we're, we're strong. We got strong characters and we're lots of strong characters in the squad, and I'm sure that will stand us in good stead for the next hopefully four, five, six weeks. Obviously, you don't like being put in tricky situations, but Wales often sort of like back to the wall and kind of putting two fingers up to the world. Is it? So if you got that feeling back, you just say like, through this, let's go. Again, probably not a huge amount different to to when we when we first landed on uh, Thursday or when, whenever it was. That the prize is what every team wants on November the second. So that you know that doesn't change, doesn't make us so hungry enough to do it um, because of everything. But we're fully aware now. We've probably just got to focus ourselves a, a tiny bit more and um, make sure we just we just build into the tournament, like Warren said. And, uh, it's about making sure we, we deal with the group stages first. It's it's an incredibly tough pool, and we know we're going to have to play some really good rugby to get out of it. But um, I think it's it's certainly not making us more uh, more determined or anything. It's making us you know we've got to draw a line in this and, and make sure we're prepared for Monday and, and build from there. Stephen's a guy who you know very well. He also knows pretty much all the you guys in the back division. Is one positive that you should be able to sort of slot in very well. You know. Each other. Yeah, familiarity is a big thing, um, and like Gat alluded to, like his experience in the squad as well as a player. Um, so there's, um, you know, hopefully a seamless transition there to make sure mm -hmm. Stephen can come in and, you know, um, as senior players, then we have to work with him, and you know, we have to 
um, get excited about the challenges that we have. And um, you know, I'm sure Steve as well, um, you know, extremely proud Welshman, is excited for his uh, opportunity as well to get involved and you know um, add to what we're trying to build here as a squad. Uh, I spoke to him um, before he left, um, so yeah, um, I haven't spoken to him since. And how was it on the whole scene, I guess? I think I had a brave conversation. Dan, as the, as the fly half in the squad, have you had to take a bit more control in training on the last few days just to, to get things in order? Uh, no, well, not really, because we had a day off yesterday. Um, so my, both myself and Rhys Patchell um, just sort of had a bit of a sit down with the with with Neil and Warren and, and Sean and everything like that and um, just just sort of ticked off. We, we had everything in place anyway, so by the time uh, Rob left, we were we were well away, well on our way to to what we want to achieve and what sort of plays and set pieces we want to take in against Georgia anyway. So that was that made life a lot easier for us. But we just sort of you know just focused ourselves a little bit. So it's up to like I said, uh, you know some of the senior boys and and things to to lead that a little bit more. But I, but I honestly believe that it's not a huge amount. You know, I'm not thinking that my job has changed particularly, or John's job has changed massively. It's, it's we're going to go exactly the same as what we did <coughs> on Sunday, and Monday when we trained, or when we trained in Six Nations, because we got a squad and a and a team here who've, who are incredibly strong and resilient, and and are able to just just get on with what whatever's thrown at them. So um, we're, yeah, we're fully aware that you know we're going to have to focus ourselves a fraction more, but we are generally taking it. You know, the squad are brilliant and they're just getting on with things and on a daily basis. So, and, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I felt.